Has anyone ever heard of René Descartes? Well, he was a French mathematician, and he laid the foundation for the Cartesian coordinate system. Now, why would I bring any of this up? Well, do you remember my series of videos on trig identities? And I told you that we had to use Euclid Book 2, Euclid Book 3, and Ptolemy's Table of Chords. Well, we're going to add another piece to the puzzle tonight. Okay? And that's this guy right here. We're going to add him to the mix. Because he's the one that laid down the foundation for the Cartesian coordinate system. Now, if you try to read his works, you're going to have a really tough time without my assistance. I can tell you that right now. It took me a while to crack what he was saying. But, I think I have. Alright, this should look familiar to you. We're going to draw a ray. There's going to be ray BD, okay, and there's going to be ray BE. Now, do you all remember what rays are? If you don't, go back through Euclid's elements. There you'll find out what a ray is, okay? So you got ray BD and ray BE. Now, Descartes says that if you multiply BD by BC, you'll get BE. So if you're going to multiply the length of BD and the length of BC, you're going to get the length of BE. Okay, so BD is 4 in this case. BC is 2 in this case. So what he wants you to do is he wants you to extend ray BC all the way out to E. Now, what he says is that as soon as you do that, you're going to draw a line from point A to point C. And that's going to make a line. Then you're going to make a line parallel to this line right here, which is DE. Okay? And that's where you're going to get your E. And when you do, then you can multiply BD by BC, and you'll get your BE. And BE, by the way, is 6. So what he's saying is that this length multiplied by this length will finally give you this length. And that's the first thing he says. But I'm going to tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.